Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for Guitarlessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at Santana's main, it's kind of the first solo, the main solo for Smooth. So, uh, not that difficult. It's got some different cool little phrasing in it and uh, a couple little fast lines and that little octave part at the end you need to kind of set your wrist up right for. But other than that, it's pretty easy, so we'll work it right through it. So let's start here with a hammer on from 12 to 14 on the G string. All right, let that ring, and then you play the 13th fret. All right, then you have this phrase. All right, so you were there at the 13th already. You're gonna pick that again. Then a half step bend and release of the 12th fret on the B string. Then the 14th fret on the G. And you're gonna end this phrase with 12 on the B string. And 14, 13 on the G. All right, so far we have this. All right, next phrase sounds like this. All right, little triad here. We had the 14th fret on the D string, 13th on the G, 12th fret on the that's uh, actually 12, 13, 12 on the B string. And then to the 14 on the G string. So we have this. I'm going to end this phrase with 12 on the B, 13 on the G. All right, next phrase sounds like this. Alright, so we're going to be here at the, um, I'm sorry, the 12, 13, 12 on the B string. I'm over and hit the G, uh, 12th fret on the G really quick. Alright, then you're going to do a hammer on pull off, 12, 13, back to 12 on the B string. And then the 14th fret on the G string hit three times. So we have this. Alright, then two quick hammer ons from 12 to 14 on the D string, then 12, and then 14 twice. All right, so far we've got all this. Now we get up to the, we're gonna move it on up the neck here. We got this next phrase. All right, so it's two whole step bends at the 20th fret on the B string. Then up the, another third one, but this one you're gonna bend and release. Then 17, 19 on the G, back to 17 on the B twice. Alright, now we're going to do a half step bend and release the 19th fret on the high E string. Then play 17 twice. Okay, and we have this little lick. So that's just a quick hammer on pull off. 17 and 19 on the B and pull back off to the 17. 19 on the G, back to 17 on the B string. And then 17 on the G, and it speeds up a little bit here, 19, uh, then 17 on the B, back to 19 on the G. So we have this. One more time. That whole phrase. You slide that down, and then we're gonna come up here to the, to the move into the 17th fret on the B over to the 17th fret on the high E. Then we're gonna start this little lick. We're just gonna play 19 to 20 over and over again. All right, 
Uh, you're going to start taking that 20, though, after you've done that a little bit. you got to listen to the recording to really know how many times to do this. He does a whole step bend, and then what he's doing that... You're going to play, you're going to pick it like in a triplet, uh, like a six tuplet actually, just real quick. Then another whole step bend there. Then 17 on the, the high E string, 20 on the B, back to 17, and then you're going to do the little unison bend, which is the, you're basically you're holding the 17th fret on the high E string, and you're going to bend at the 20th fret on the B string up a whole step to a match and pitch. All right, now we're going to have this kind of series of licks, which are kind of similar. You got to pick the 17th twice, which is a down up, and then a whole step bend at the 20th fret on the B string. So we do that twice. Then you pick 17 twice again, then 18, 17 on the B string. So we have this so far. Oh. Then 19 on the G, 17 on the B, then a whole step bend in, uh, uh, just a bend at the 19th fret. So we have this. Then you can do a roll from 17 on the B string to a 17 on the high E. Pull off 20 to 17 on the B string. We have this from the bend at the 19th fret. Then a whole step bend and release at the 19th fret on the G string. Then the 17th fret, 19 on the D, 17, 19 on the G. So the whole thing there. All right, now I'm gonna start doing these octaves. Now to do this correctly, you're really going to want to use these two fingers um, and the bottom of your first finger to mute, first of all, the B string in between. And then maybe the tip of your first finger can mute the uh, the D string. So you got that on muted, you can strum the strings one through four, and you're still only hearing those two notes, the ninth fret on the G and the twelfth fret on the high E string, because the first finger is muting those open strings surrounding it. Uh, but these two lowest strings use these two fingers to mute those. So you're kind of free just to pick whenever. So you start with a, it's going to kind of triple up pick it. Now to help that, you, we typically play with our wrist low on the guitar. Move your wrist out a little bit. You'll notice when you're, you're trying to pick fast tremolo pick across multiple strings, it's kind of hard, but when you can move your wrist out, it kind of frees up the motion in your hand. So we can do it. And then 10th fret, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. So it's completely chromatic there. Now when you get to the 14th fret, you're going to then skip to the 16th fret, 17th, and then 14th. You're going to really kind of end it on that note there on the 14th fret. All right, so there's a, some nice techniques to work on in there, some cool phrasing, and it's, it's really melodic, so it's a nice one. If you guys want to learn the entire song, because the whole thing is like a solo, there's just all over the place. Uh, just make sure this uh, little first solo gets uh, 600 YouTube likes, and I will do the entire song note for note for you guys. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.